Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and this time we're going to look at a game called Polaris by Taito in 1980, and there's the cabaret cabinet. There was also, of course, a stand-up cabinet with the common Taito uh, logo on the side that was seen on the late 70s, early 80s Taito games, but this is a, uh, it's a little bit like Space Invaders, except you're a submarine, and you have to shoot down planes that pass overhead. There are also other subs that try to make life miserable for you. You can get shot at by bombs or torpedoes. There is also a speedboat that will speed by and drop bombs down on you. Some of the bombs you can shoot, some of them you cannot. And uh, there's a little sonar ping sound but uh, yeah collision with any sub or uh, projectiles will destroy you as well as running into the side of the reef that'll kill you too and that plane that you saw there will appear when uh, when you whittle down all of the planes and he is worth a lot of points uh, let's go ahead and get started and yeah you just take down all those planes sometimes they'll shoot at you and that was the speedboat the yellow speedboat his shots can be destroyed the shots coming from the uh... Whoa, except for that one yeah those those little little uh, purple shots cannot be destroyed. Those little yellow ones can. And they're worth 10 points if you shoot them. Now finally, that last plane appears, that black one, and he could be worth eh, like 500 to 1500 I think. And he's very hard to hit. If you take too long to destroy him, he'll just disappear and you'll start the next round. But that is your goal is to destroy Woo <laughs> is to destroy all the planes in the sky. And uh with every third pass that the planes make, that speedboat will appear. Nice shot. Yeah, that, that black plane is hard to hit. After every third level completed you will get a nice special bonus. I think it's it's generally like a thousand points extra. But uh those planes never change their their course. They always fly from one end of the screen to the other and then reappear on the other side. Whoops. When you can get under a sub, do so and shoot them. The green subs, they're worth some nice points. Or at least nice for a, a game where you don't score a whole lot. Now notice that that plane will drop homing bombs on you. They will home into your, uh, to whatever plane you're on and come after you. That's why it's a good idea to get rid of that plane if you can, quickly. Those subs will reappear from the right to the left once they scroll off the screen. So if you're on the left side, be careful for any subs that might come from one end, one end of the screen to the other. Oh, there he was worth 1500 That was nice. Get a little musical fanfare once you beat every third level. But yeah, once you get the opportunity to go under subs, do it and destroy them because there were some nice points. Yeah, that speedboat... Uh, He's not too difficult as long as uh, as long as you don't go too close to the surface. Just stay kind of in the middle. Yeah, that that black plane can be a pain in the butt. Ah, stupid homing uh, bombs. Yeah, as the levels go on, he'll uh, he'll release more and more bombs. <clears throat> more and more uh, homing bombs. I didn't do it on this game, but I'll play one more game after this.
but you'll definitely want to get under those subs and blast them if you can. Obviously not the the bottom one. <laughs> touch the touch the reef at all and you'll blow up. Yeah, this game's okay. Kinda took elements from uh well not just space invaders, but oops. Yeah, I wasn't ready for that sub that scrolled off the screen and reappeared there. Well, I gotta put in my initials. Not only did it steal from uh, Space Invaders, which which it made, but also from uh, Depth Charge, which was a pretty good game in the late 70s. But that is Polaris. I'm gonna play one more time. I'll see if I can do better than 8,000 something. Yeah, that speedboat is not that big a deal. He he generally just drops like maybe one of those invincible bombs, those purple ones like the like the ones that the uh, sub is shooting at you. But uh, just like three little bullets that can easily easily be shot. Shooting down the uh, the planes from below makes me think of an old Atari 2600 game called Air Sea Battle. I think there was uh, I think there was one of the games where you maybe have a sub or like a a cannon where you shoot planes out of the air. But uh, this this was probably not seen by very many gamers back in the day. Probably an obscure title that showed up mostly in like drive-ins or arcades that specialized in uh, obscure titles. There's that last plane again. He is hard to hit. Ah, damn it. That wasn't particularly good. Die. Whoa. There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure what makes him worth a, a full 1500 points. Take out a sub. Yeah, I think they're generally worth somewhere in between 300 to 900, and I don't know know what makes them worth uh, the value that you get from them, but at any rate, eh, I suppose this game could be worse. I, I, I'm not a big fan of it. For 1980, I suppose it's it's okay. It does, uh, it does provide a, a steady challenge, having to move all around because enemies from below and above are shooting at you. And again, every every third pass by those planes, that speedboat will show up and make a very uh, space invader space invaders y type of noise. <laughs> there we go. There's the big old stupid plane with the uh, homing bombs. Hey, nice shot. Happy musical fanfare that plays whenever you pass three levels and you get a bonus of a uh, thousand points. Maybe the bonus increases the the second time around once you pass the sixth level. And uh, I think I got an extra life around like five thousand points. But yeah, as soon as you can get under those green subs and shoot them, do so, because they're worth some nice points. Just uh, concentrate on looking out for the firepower coming at you from below and above. And try to take out those planes when you got a chance. And don't run into the reef. <laughs>
Yeah, those uh, those bullets that the speedboat drops are worth like ten points, I think. Yeah, the bullets are ten. Uh, the bombs from the planes are thirty. Ooh, that was nine hundred. That was pretty nice. Um, and the planes are worth fifty points. And the homing missiles and those uh, purple bombs or torpedoes cannot be destroyed. Yikes, I ran out of room to get to weave in between those. Oh, sweet. Nice shot. I did better this game, mostly because uh, I thought to go under the uh, submarines and shoot him from below and get some nice points out of it. Yeah, don't 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 uh, stick around too close to the surface because of that speedboat, and don't go too low because you'll probably run into a. Uh, uh, a green submarine. Once you destroy a sub, one of the green submarines, they won't return on that same level. But there's no destroying that bottom one. Stupid homing, uh, homing shots. Crap. Well, game over. Well, I got over 10,000 that time. But that was Polaris by Tate. Uh, Taito in 1980. Pretty obscure title. I never saw this game. But, eh, not a big fan of it. But, uh, that was Polaris by Taito in 1980. Uh, kind of a shoot 'em up game with submarine, submarine intrigue. What is this crazy climb radius? saying thanks for watching Polaris by Taito in 1980. I'll see you later in the future with another video. See you, folks. Bye-bye.